what is going on guys i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be showing you how to spit flames out of pretty much any car but all you're gonna need is a car that can have a turbocharger so either a jdm car there's a few other cars out there if your car is naturally aspirated you're gonna need to make sure you can apply a turbo onto that car i'm gonna show you right now what you're gonna need all right if you go over to racing all you will need to get is an anti-lag system, a racing silencer, and obviously a turbocharger, wherever it is. Right there, turbocharger. So either of those three you can have, and make sure once you buy them, you go across to your garage, and then go into car settings, go across to anti-lag system, make sure that is on. All right, make sure that's on and you press uh, triangle to measure once you put it on. Same with the turbocharger and the um, exhaust silencer on racing, pretty much. And that is it. I'm going to show you right now. Though the main things you need to do, I'm going to show you how to spit flames right now. So if you go into world circuits, and then all we have to do is go, I'll just go to Asia. Um, I'll choose a random track, time trial, and I'll go into this track, and then go twilight so you can see the flames better. Alright, start the race. It does take a little bit to kick in. I don't think the flames kick in straight away. Yeah, they don't. So you have to wait a while, race around a little bit. And then they start kicking in, just like that. So if you're ever wondering why some people can spit flames and your car isn't, that is how you do it. Make sure you have those equipped to your car and you can spit flames just like that. That'll be it for that video. I hope this helped some of you. So I'll throw in a little bit of gameplay there. Some drifting, trying to drift anywhere, but hope you enjoy it and I'll see y'all later.